Max Holloway, Ilya. Obviously, you fought Ilya, so you kind of know what he's about a little bit. Um, but Max Holloway, fan favorite. You know, everyone loves him. I think a lot of people are rooting I, for him. I'm picking Max. 100%. How do you think it's going to go? I think that his volume, his distance control, um, his reach is going to be a huge issue for Ilya striking. And for Ilya to just randomly pull out some wrestling, like, it's going to be his only way to win. I know he does have the grappling. Like, his grappling is really good. Like, when I fought him, I like, when I was watching video, there was nothing available on him. So, when I saw video on him and I saw where he was from, I thought it was going to be a 100% grappling fight because his camp is, like, some freaking monster grapplers. And so, um, I think... Honestly, I think that he uh, could out-grapple Max if it came down to it. But, you know, like you say that, and then you look back at all the grapplers that Max has fought. Max has fought some tough dudes on the grappling side, and um, he's done just fine. You know, so I think that if Ilya doesn't get the fight on the ground, then Max is going to win. Okay, for sure. And with the boxing and stuff, something I'm thinking about, I was talking about it with Mike Davis in an interview we recently did. But, um, you know, I would say Ilya is super skilled in boxing. Like, he seems to have a little bit more of that traditional style of boxing. I think Max is right up there, though, like, neck and neck. But I think the difference, too, is Max is taller. He's got that range. And that is a big deal in boxing. And if it comes down to just boxing, I don't yeah. know, I'm thinking Max might end up taking it with the range. But, you know, Ilya's got the great head movement. Like I said, he's like a Canelo in there. So Canelo can fight bigger guys, and, and the range doesn't matter. So it's very intriguing. But what do you think about that, what I just said? Yeah, I think I, I think that's pretty spot on. I think that Ilya definitely can win on the feet for sure. But I think that uh, he's going to have trouble for sure. I don't think it's going to be a like a walkthrough kind of fight. And I definitely don't see him getting like finished, you know. Um, but, you know, like if you watch the fight with me and Ilya, like I was tagging Ilya like the first round. He hit me, I hit him. He hit me, I hit him. So he's hittable. And I think that that's a problem if you're fighting Max. You know, if you're hittable and you're fighting Max, like, uh, you know, that's that's trouble. He's going to find you. Yeah, um, I think. Another thing, though, about Max, he's really good with the body work. And, and that's, yeah. like, something that a lot of MMA fighters, I think, aren't really doing as much of right now. But Max is showing that. You, you'd be good at the body work, and you can really, like, like that knockout with Justin Gagey, was set up with the body. Like, I think he had two shots to the body and then went up to the head. Yeah. So nah. I think maybe body work will, will play a factor in here as well. For sure. I think that his, his range with the body too, it's not like he, he doesn't just get in and, um, he doesn't just get in and like, uh, put his, like put his head right there to be hit when he's hitting the body. He does it from his full range and his full reach. So, um, you know, Max is definitely, uh, got, he's got some like, maybe even the best boxing in the MMA. With Ilya Teporio, though, right? He got that fight now. And I, I love Max Holloway, by the way. I got to say, even I interviewed Yancey Medeiros, another Hawaiian. So I, I got love for the Hawaiians. My mom's from Hawaii. So um, I'm super excited for the Max Holloway, Ilya Teporio fight. Any any thoughts on that? Um, The size could make make a difference. Uh, and the fact that Max uh, Max Holloway did agree that he, he got dropped that last fight. But he apparently, apparently never did. Um, according to the stats. Yeah, according to the stats, he never did. Uh, I don't think... If Ilya drops Max Holloway, then he'll be the first to ever do it, then Ilya is the best 45 ever. I think Max Holloway is the veteran, and he'll just show Ilya the speed difference. Ilya's slow. Ilya's, Ilya's slow, but he does have good grappling, and I, I've never seen Max Holloway grapple. Right. Max is more of an anti-wrestler, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely stay on the feet. He's a boxer. He's definitely 100 just boxing. Barely throws leg kicks, barely throws kicks at all. Just a boxer. If I kind of break him down a little bit, though, Ilya's even more of a boxer, you know? But I guess Ilya's yes, got some but grappling. His, his grappling is really good. Ilya's yeah. grappling is very good. Okay. And I guess if you try to break down their skill sets from your perspe professional perspective, um... Where do you think, what are the X factors here? I guess because you fuck with Max, let's go on this way where it's like, what does Max need to do to get that title back? To, oh, okay. So against Ilya, I would say you just got to outbox him. That's it. The boxing, the boxing is the only thing he's going to play a, a part. Ilya just comes forward, tight defense and boxes. If you can outbox Ilya, you'll win. 
Um, shooting on him doesn't make sense. He's a good wrestler. He's going to defend your takedowns. He's defending like every everybody's takedown so far. Um, and then when it comes to grappling, like I said, his grappling is really good. So there's probably no point in trying that. I would mix it up for sure. Maybe like tag the legs, um, lead kicks. I don't know. I don't recall the stance, but if you can start timing front lead kicks so he can get his rhythm off, um, start hurting the lead leg, then I think that's going to be his way to victory. Okay, so take out that front leg because he's got yeah. that heavy weight he's on a, the He's front a foot. heavy boxer, yeah. He's yeah. a heavy boxer. Um, my goal would be to damage that lead leg. So you have to either switch stance or you can't really put power into your punches anymore. Okay. And, you know, from, you know, Max has fought, just fought Gagey. He's been fighting Volkanovski. So if you ask me, Max has way better leg kicks than Ilya because he's been training it. For you sure. Know? So I think that could be a big X factor, the boxing and the calf kicks or something like that. That's it. Right. Do you, how do you feel about his spinning kick? Because that one obviously landed on Gaethje, and that's a nice little distance kick. I feel kick. like he he said he practiced it, too. Dude, I've um, been following Max for a long time. That was on his YouTube channel, like, at least, like, seven or eight years ago. Like, him teaching it in the garage, because he hit it in one of his first few UFC fights. And even, it's in the video game. when he, On the original UFC game, like UFC 2 and 3, he's always had that kick. Yeah, he's always had it. I've never it's really like a, seen him throw it. I don't see this man throw kicks. He stopped. Yeah, I no, think he was, stopped for a while. It was good. It was good timing. Yeah. Do you think he that can play a factor in, I guess, like, you know, stunning Ilya or something like that? Oh, for sure. I would throw weird stuff that Ilya hasn't seen before. Absolutely. Because you're just going to straight up box with Ilya. You're probably not going to win. So, like when he fought Jai Herbert, the random head kick that came behind a punch is what knocked him down. That's the stuff you got to throw. Hidden, hidden techniques, switch kicks, stuff like that. Okay. I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, right, Max dropped uh, Volk with a, with a head kick one time, right, in their second fight or something like that in Abu Dhabi. I miss him. I think he got it on the back of his head a little bit. So maybe nice. Max has some head kicks he could pull out of his arsenal. For sure, bro. Yeah. You got to throw him out there. Okay, and then I had another question. Oh, here's what I was going to say, because obviously when you talk about boxing, right, you're saying it's really going to come down to boxing. I think personally they got really good boxing. The Hawaiians got good boxing. Ilya's clearly proven himself he's got good boxing. I would say, though, when it, when it comes to boxing, Sometimes the range is like the big deciding factor. And obviously yeah. Max is taller and stuff, but he is really good. Do you think it's going to play much range. of a difference? It just depends on how good of a boxer Max Holloway is. Because you MMA and boxing are two different things. And you can tell, you can see it in every sport when MMA fighters try to do boxing, they always lose. Um, and we saw that recently. Um, no, no harm, but to Mike Perry and Jake Paul. Jake Paul is strictly a boxer he's been training boxing he's been spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to become a better boxer and mike perry's a fighter he has done mma he's do he does uh bare knuckle boxing right now but bare knuckle boxing is not like strategic boxing it's who can hit harder faster so there's no gameplay there's no uh, methodical thinking to how you're going to beat your opponent. Boxing is all like range, jab, weaken the body, weaken the body, up top, hard hit here, weaken the body. And that's what happened in that fight. He, the the body shots and the jabs really slowed Mike down. Um, and that's because Jake knows how to box. So if Max Holloway knows how to box in that fashion, he can definitely beat Ilya. Ilya looks like a like he has boxed before a hundred fights, at least he's definitely boxed. Um, but he's definitely a close range fighter. He's definitely someone who's going to push forward and get in your pocket. But if Max Holloway can pop the jab and move angles. Yeah. He'll win. Yeah. So okay. Down. And I guess one other devil's advocate I have on this topic before we wrap it up is, um, and then I, I just got a couple more for you. So maybe like 10 more minutes. So no, we'll you're be good. good. Okay. I'm chilling. Um, with Max is, um, this is just a personal thought I have sometimes. Because if I'm thinking one of the best striking rule sets to transition to MMA, you got Pereira there right now. I'm thinking kickboxing because kickboxing, when you train defense in kickboxing, you're also training for like head kicks to avoid those. But in boxing, those slips and stuff, that has no consideration for a head kick coming. And um, do you think with that being said, like could Ilya be a little too boxing heavy yeah. and like some of his head movements, you know, could be susceptible to a head kick? Uh, the only time I've seen him get dropped is by a head kick. So right. I definitely see that. I guess, yeah, history already it's, proved that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think, okay. I think a head kick. I think if Max Holloway 
wants to shock Ilya, throw head kicks. Like don't punch. Like hide him, hide him behind punches, switch him, throw him in the random, throw him in the open. The spinning back kick, I mean, you know how to land it, throw it. Especially since Ilya's small. So you throw it at his body. If he ducks, he hits him in the face. I mean. I love it, man. I'm so excited for this one. So I'll be watching closely. I actually even, the, the reason why I know that you fuck with Max and stuff is because I'll even be watching Max's streams. And then I'll see you hop in there, like DM or something <laughs> like that. He's like, oh, what a beast boy. Like, what a uh, Mike. So I'm like, yeah, this guy still fucks with him. And you told me back in the day. 